So good morning, this is Friday the 23rd of September. It's half past five in the morning and I'm about to walk up the drove here. Uh, an old byway which runs parallel to Stonehenge. I'm going to meet up outside the gates and experience Equinox. Now today technically isn't the equinox, I think it's actually on Sunday, but I think today is the day that National Heritage or whatever governing body that owns and uh, looks after the stones, it's the day when they're letting people in. So this morning is quite a nice privileged opportunity to be able to go in with many others and walk around the stones and experience dawn and the various uh, ceremonies and celebrations that go with it. I've hardly slept at all, been quite excited actually to be honest with you, but um, yeah the drove over the last few days I've been here since Monday evening and it's just steadily got busier and busier and busier. And last night there was a lot of people all arriving in cars and vans right into the early hours of the morning. Um, even now they're still arriving. That's it, 5.30 so I'm going to take a little walk up there and uh, we'll see whether we get some interesting shots on the camera. Maybe nothing but if anything just to be there and just experience a one-off opportunity. Um, which I never imagined I'd be able to do, so I'll take you along for the ride. So what is it that the drove has that attracts van lifers from all walks of life and all different parts of the world? This ancient byway that is crisscrossing ancient lands with thousands and thousands of years of history on monuments and burial grounds etc. 
There's something about this place that's like a magnet that draws people in. And so I suppose I basically had to find out for myself. Come here and spend some time. Catch the vibe. See whether there was anything mysterious, magical, mythical, or whatever it was. I just, I guess, needed to come and find out for myself properly. I mean, it's weird, really, because being in the van for as long as I have now and knowing about this place all the time, I've never come here. I say never come here, I came here with the van back in 2021, pre van life eats big picnic meetup. Um, and we literally just used this as a place to come and um, rendezvous and then we went in convoy to the festival. And then before that was Christ. 1989 I think it was was the first time I ever came here and that was ironically enough in a van uh, with three performers that I performed with in a theatre company that I used to tour with and that was back when the old road was open and you could there was like a small car park that you could literally just pull off and just walk right up to the stones um, yeah, very different times then. So I was kind of eager to come here and just sort of try it out for a good few days. So I arrived on the Monday evening and I've just been here for a good few days just taking in the vibe and just going out with the camera and just filming bits and pieces. And it so happens that um, it's tied in with, with the equinox, so with a bit of luck I'll get to see some of those shenanigans. So it's been quite an interesting few days. Incredibly relaxing. You know, having just come back off a uh, heavy weekend at a van life event, I think I needed to um, give my uh, liver and my brain cells a bit of a rest. <laughs> and an amazing weekend it was too. But, um, yeah, came here. And funny enough, I met up with some friends. I didn't even know they would be here, but they were. 
it's one of their places that they park up so that was really nice just to catch up with people that I hadn't seen since March earlier on in the year so that was really good but I tell you something I was pretty knackered from the weekend and then just that day of driving etc and on the Monday evening, I don't remember many times when this happens, but Monday evening, I think, I went to bed at point A, and I woke up at point B, and I don't remember anything in between. And it was a solid nine hours. Um, yeah, it's so peaceful here. And then at the same time, it's not. I'll get onto that later on. <laughs> But yeah, it was just so good. Monday night and Tuesday night, just having the most amazing sleeps. I think my body just needed to just repair itself. And so it's good for that. But there's something about the pace of life here which is so nice. Yeah, you wake up in the morning, you put your kettle on, etc. And it's, you know, I look out this window behind me, and there's Stonehenge right in front of me. And you have those thousands and thousands of years of history and God, the stories those things can tell. And you've then got the A road with all the traffic whizzing by with people just going about their mundane lives. And you just sat here nice and peaceful. And it's really cool. And I've had some days where I just literally, I just get up, make some coffee, sit on the step and just watch the world right out in front of my van. And you get the occasional person that will come along and say hello and you have a little chat and then they walk on and you stood there and you say hello to the different walks of life that are going past you it's bizarre really because it's just a byway in the middle of nowhere but then actually when you think about it there is actually quite a lot around this area um, most certainly military wise and so therefore there seems to be quite a lot of footfall obviously with tourists etc so this old byway that we're parked on just has the most eclectic mix of life just walking up and down and then of course you have the van life community which in itself is really really eclectic um, you know a mixture of hippies and new age travelers and new van lifers people that just need to get off grid then you have the motorhomers, the people, the tourists that are on holiday, etc. It's just all walks of van life here. And it's just nice to just sort of walk up and down the byway and just sort of say hello and stop and chat for a little bit. Um, And the last few days it's just been brilliant in a way that I've just captured an incredible sort of um, snapshot of the kind of things that happen here. And yeah, it so happens that so it's sort of t tied in with the equinox, etc. But yeah, when I came here on Monday, there were just maybe, I don't know a dozen vans or so and now I've lost count because they've just over the days just been trickling in slowly but surely and 
it's just the whole line of vehicles all the way along and just the mixture of all different types of people from different parts representing different communities different values in life etc so that's been nice you know to be able to rock up somewhere where you don't know anyone I mean I was fortunate that I did come here and uh, there was a, a new friend of mine that I made at the meetup who was parked in front of me for a bit so I did have a bit of company for the first couple of nights <clears throat> but even without that it didn't, didn't really matter because you only need to take a stroll behind here and you'll get talking with someone so it's one of those things that you can you can either entrench yourself into the community and delve in and sit and talk and drink and smoke and have a good time or you can just keep yourself to yourself and I like that, it's just nice to be able to dip your toe in I think that's how I like to <laughs> deal with public in general I just like to dip my toe not get too involved but it's uh, it's interesting really you know I'm a couple of times I'm here and out and about and I'm looking and I go out with a camera and I think to myself, gosh, you know, I'm, this place sort of, it's interesting how the first time I was here was 1989 and yet here I am. I can't work out the maths, but you know, many years later and um, how this place is sort of had something to do with my life one way or another and I guess it affects people in all sorts of ways but uh, you know just rocking up here on the first few evenings and just seeing all the crows that are around here and everything and then that reminded me of a seminar that I give at the university where I work which is based around um, a film of Tessa de D'Urbervilles and it's filmed I presume at the Stones um, or if not it's a fucking good set but I'm pretty sure it was filmed here um, and I use it as an exercise where this end m motif the end of that particular scene and this swelling music and all the underscore of sound etc and I use it as an exercise for people to listen and watch and listen with their ears so to speak um, and in there there's always the sound of the crows and it's just really weird to be here and hear those crows f for real um, I then carry on doing an exercise where I then take the soundtrack out of the original film and then I put my own piece of music over the top of it to see whether it has the same meaning whether it stirs up different emotions etc But it's funny, you know, I'm taking a walk with the camera and going along the path and then walking along a footpath that's along a footpath next to where people are spending God knows how much to go and see the stones and yet I'm getting exactly the same view on the other side of the fence. And it's bizarre really and quite distressing and shameful in a way that you know how we have to pilfer people's pockets um, for something that should be enjoyed by everybody um, but yeah it was quite weird just sort of um, being the other side of the fence and taking footage and then people stopping in their tracks because they thought that they were going to be in the way of my camera and let <laughs> yet they've gone and spent 35 quid or whatever it is for a ticket for the privilege of being in front of me um, yeah it's bizarre
but yeah if you ever come here do so I think it's well worth it don't come in from the A road unless you happen to be traveling in a would it be easterly direction then it's easy to swing a left and go straight in um, other than that come in the Lark Hill way You have to pick your spot. It is a little bit of a lottery. As much as it is peaceful, it can get quite noisy here. You'll have drums drumming into the night, techno music and all sorts of weird, wonderful concoctions of people's eclectic mixing music blasting away in the background so last night I fell asleep to the sound of some thudding bass coming out the back of a van um, so yeah your neighbours can be a bit hit and miss but they're all good souls really um, if you like aviation, like this geek here, then most certainly a good place to come. Watching all of the various types of helicopters fly over Apache helicopters and then the Chinooks flying over and they fly really low as well. So that's been quite nice. And I've yet to wake up for sunrise, but the sunsets are spectacular here, they really are. So those are my musings of the drove. Um, yeah, definitely worth visiting. Dip your toe, don't abuse it, and walk away from it and take whatever you can from it because it is a very special place um, I wished I had somewhere like this near me that's for sure um, I think places like this up and down the country would be amazing when you think about it if we had this place of, a place of respite somewhere that you could just park up and be with fellow folk fellow kindred spirits that are living the same sort of lifestyle as you and just be able to go somewhere where you feel safe um, and be able to just sort of tap in and I think um, I think those are valuable things to have and yes you do have an eclectic mix of people you do have people from varying degrees of the spectrum so to speak um, people that are influenced by heavy lives difficult lives or influenced by the substances and chemicals in their head um, it is a really interesting place and you do come away with some memories of some great conversations and people that you know that you know there's a very good chance that you may bump into some way down the road so come don't abuse and leave with a memory <laughs>